Hey guys, do me a favor, stop what you're doing and click that subscribe button. I'm really trying to get to 10,000 followers on Instagram. I need you to head over and give me a follow. Thanks in advance. Now onto the video. So what's up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time watching, make sure you go ahead, click that subscribe button, click the notification bell, all that good stuff. Also, don't forget to head over to Instagram and follow me on Instagram at Camellia Yvette as well. I give you guys a lot of real time updates over on Instagram, a lot of funny reels, a lot of informative reels. So make sure you're following me there also. So for today's video, we're going to do our April reset. So I'm going to structure this a little different than I have the couple others that I've done in the past. I have a to do list of things that I kind of want to get done with you guys. And we're going to recap March, we're going to talk about April goals, and the sort. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Let me know if you like this format. And if you want me to add or take away any other elements of this video down below in the comment section. So let's first talk about March and how March went. Overall, I think March was an amazing month. As you guys will see when I recap the March goals, I didn't hit all the goals that I set out to hit. I think I only hit like one or two of them. I tried to cap my goals at five. And so I only hit one or two of the goals, but I wasn't mad about that at all because March was a crazy month for me. And as you guys have now seen, I actually got a new job. So starting my new job this month, I'm actually starting it this week, the week I'm filming this. And it has just been a blast. Like with new jobs comes a new schedule and just rearranging some things in the house. You know what I'm saying? So it's a fully remote position and that wasn't the case before. So me and my husband are able to kind of juggle and rearrange some things for our schedule. So that takes some getting used to along with adding it into my fitness and my workout schedule and just learning new people, learning a new boss, learning new systems. So I've been a little off my game for the entire month because I I received the job offer this month and I started the job this month. So things moved very, very, very quickly as you guys are seeing unfold in the vlogs that I've been posting. So some other fun things that happens in March, I actually ordered another like little section to go to this Ikea pack system, but I ordered the wrong size. So I'm actually in the process of sending that back now. And then I have to wait for the correct size to come in stock. So, you know, I, I rearranged like some things over here, bought some new shelves. So I was able to put those in, but the actual frame, um, the other section that was supposed to come, I just ordered the wrong size. So I have to wait on that, but that was super exciting. Exciting. And overall, March was just a super exciting month. The weather has been pretty good. And I feel like like my husband switched jobs a couple of months ago. So we're finally getting in the groove of that. And just so many great things on the horizon. I feel like the first quarter of the year has been absolutely amazing. I feel like I've been a little behind on some of the goals that I've set. However, things have popped up that have just enhanced my life so much, you know, so much greater beyond the goals that I set. Not to mention, I still have so much time to achieve those goals as well. Well, I don't want to say so much time because I, I hate to get bogged down and say, oh, you still have nine months to do what you need to do. I like to do what I can as soon as I can do it but that all the time doesn't happen. So just learning how not to beat up on myself when I can't achieve the goals that I set has been a major priority of mine. So some of the things that I want to get done to physically reset my space for April are getting my makeup brushes cleaned. This was actually on my to-do list for March. It is still March at the time that I'm filming this. So yes, <laughs> getting my makeup brushes cleaned, the ones that are dirty, that we're going to do today in this video. We are also going to do a little clean and refresh of this space here. I just need to do a little vacuum, like get some of the hair up, clean off my desk and just make it all nice and fresh. And then I also want to do a quick little clean in my office. I like to refresh that space weekly, but I like to do more of a deeper clean at the end of the month just to make sure I'm starting the month off right. So we're going to do that today as well. So let's get into that right now. Just wanna leave it all behind 
has to hurt, that's how I know it's right But you won't feel the pain alone, no Every inch of me is hurting and I I just wanna leave it all behind Yeah, I'm breaking up with you tonight Yeah, you know it's hard to say Yeah, you know we're not okay I can see it in your face We became a lonely place, yeah I so long, my dear love Love is forgotten so Okay, now that we've done a little cleaning and refreshed the space and all of that, Let's open up our goals book and go through March goals. My first goal for March was to finish my next paid product. That's one of the things that really got put on the back burner. I started it, but I did not finish it. So yeah, we did not finish that. The next thing I wanted to do was start and finish the Mr. London's ab challenge. So in my February, February fitness vlog, yeah, I showed you guys the ab challenge. I got to like day 11 and then um, I quit. So I was supposed to start it again this month and I didn't. I, I just didn't. I don't know why. Things just got hectic and I didn't. So that's one thing that I definitely have on my list to finish up very, very soon. But I did not do it for March. Workouts, um, I was supposed to work out one time a day starting on March 7th, child. This month was really a bust, you guys. But I like to show these because sometimes it's like that. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to always be perfect. You're not going to always be perfect. And beating up on yourself every time you miss out on a goal or every time you have a bad month just is not helpful. It's not productive. So I like to show these and balance them out as well. Because some months I have hyper ultra productive months. And some months are like this month where it's like some things came up. Some things got in the way. But I'm still going to continue to move forward and push and, and check off my goals, you know. So the next thing, um, have a random date night or ex random like new experience with my husband. I didn't. I did not do that. And the last one was to start wedding dress shopping. So I didn't actually go to a physical store, but I did look up some different options and some different types of dresses that I wanted to, um, that I want to try on. And I also made a list of shops that I want to go to that are near my house. So I did, I mean, I didn't go try anything on, but I did start the process of looking. If you guys don't know, my husband and I will be renewing our vows for our 10th wedding anniversary in Mexico in September, and I have not started wedding dress shopping yet. So I need to do that, and I need to get on that. So the next section, let's go through and kind of talk about our Instagram goals. And I have this general goal that I like to post on Instagram four to five times a week. Well, that did not happen because the month of March, I only posted eight times on my Instagram feed. Um, yeah. And then as far as my fitness goals, I worked out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there are still several days left in the month. So... I'm quite sure that I will hit probably around 14 or 15 days, which is every other day, which is pretty good. I'm fine with the fitness goals as long as I continue to do them over the next several days as the month winds down. For organization and declutter, I was supposed to organize the basement closet downstairs. We did not get to that, but I was also supposed to organize my master closet and I did that for the most part, I can't do the rest until the rest of my IKEA pack system comes. So I'm hoping that comes within the next couple of weeks and then I can go ahead and finish that task. So technically that wasn't my fault. Um, my to-do list was to go to the tailor, to wash my makeup brushes and to call Amazon because I was being charged for some things on my Amazon Prime that I was not using. I went to the tailor this morning. I washed my makeup brushes just a few minutes ago and I did call Amazon and get those charges taken off of my account. So all three of those were complete.
For reading goals, this is the book that I've been reading over the last couple of months. It is a super thick book, so it definitely takes some time to read, but I'm hoping I can have this done by the end of the month. This is called 90 Days to CEO by Rochelle Graham Campbell, and it's such a good, good book, you guys. If you're looking to be an entrepreneur, a CEO, this is such an amazing book. I'm really not looking to be an entrepreneur, but I just thought it was, it was a good read. It's by a black woman, hello. So I went ahead and picked it up and I've been really loving it and I'm almost done. It has about, what does it have? 380 pages. I'm at 309. So I'll probably finish this within the next couple of days and be finished with it before March is over. So that was my March read. And then last but not least on my to buy list, I was supposed to buy something for my office, just a piece of furniture for my office. I needed an extra like file cabinet and I did that. So all in all, if you look at this piece of paper, it looks like it was a bad month, but I promise you guys, this has been an, um, just such a great month for me overall, personally and professionally. I feel like I got a little rest this month and I just felt good about everything, which is weird because I accomplished literally nothing that I set out to accomplish, but I just felt so good this month. So I encourage you to, you know, if you've had a bad month, put a little spin on how you're looking at it and see really what you actually did accomplish. Because a lot of the times the stuff that we put on paper, we've accomplished so much more than that over the course of a month. Woo! 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 One and a two, two, two and a three, three, three and a four, four, then you got a three, three, one and a two, two, two and a three, three, three and a four, four, then you got a three, three, then you got a, then you got a, uh, then you got a, uh, then you got a, then you got a, then you got a, to accomplish in April. You guys, I really want to refocus for the month of April. I feel like my focus has been elsewhere and rightfully so. So many things have been going on in my life. So I really want to refocus and zone in on the things that are important to me. Since we're moving into Q2, I did take a look at my overall um, yearly goals just to make sure that I was on track and make sure that those are things that I still wanted to be achieving, right? Sometimes we set these lofty goals in January, then you get halfway through the year, wonder why you haven't achieved anything and start to realize that those goals aren't even important to you to begin with. And sometimes you have to readjust and that happens and that's okay. And I looked at my goals. I didn't feel like I needed to readjust. Those goals are still very important to me. I just need to make sure I'm keeping them in the forefront as the year progresses. So the first thing on my April goals list is to go dress shopping, you guys. I have got to start going, trying on some dresses and really kind of narrowing down what type of dress I like. I also want to finish up my next paid product and I'm so excited about it. Again, it just got pushed to the back burner this month. So I really want to, you know, work hard and get it done and hopefully get it out there within the month of May. This month, I am going to start 
and finish the Mr. London's Ab Challenge. That is going to happen in the month of April. Mark my words. I promise you, it is going to happen. I want to start and finish it. I got, like I said, I got 11 days in and I quit. It's only a two week challenge and your girl quit three days before the finish line. So I'm gonna start and finish that challenge in the month of April. You'll see. The next thing that's on my goals list is to completely track my spending and also come up with a new budget plan and savings plan with my new income coming in. So with the new job, obviously came a pay increase and you know, some other perks and benefits. And so I really wanna see, you know, after taxes, what my bring home pay is and how that looks and how that plays into my overall financial goals and savings goals and all that stuff. So um, that is one thing that is on the agenda to do. Once I get my first full paycheck, then I'll kind of know, you know, where I sit for the month. Last but not least, I do want to challenge myself to get more into like the editing process for my videos. So I want to learn two new Final Cut Pro techniques or differences in my editing. And for those of you who don't know, Final Cut Pro is the editing software that I use for these YouTube videos. So I do want to see if I can kind of dig in and and learn two new Final Cut Pro skills, just some different things for my editing visually to give you guys a different look. For organization and declutter, I'm keeping my master closet on the list because like I said, once the pieces come from Ikea, I do want to go ahead and get that organized as soon as possible. My closet already looks 10 times better upstairs. I have 10 times more space just by organizing this the way I've already done it. And I just want to finish that project up. So I want to do that. I will get to the basement closet this month as well. And then I want to begin to reorganize and declutter my makeup collection. You guys will start to see some decluttering videos coming this month. There is so much of this stuff I just don't use and I've really kind of slowed down on buying because I just, I need to make do with what I have. It's getting to the point where it's getting overwhelming and there's nothing wrong with buying things when you see something that comes out that you like. But when it's to the point where it's becoming overwhelming for you, it's it's not as enjoyable as it should be, right? So you guys will start to see some really crazy, nasty, just downright um, cutthroat decluttering videos coming um, in April. So make sure you stay tuned for that. For books to read, I have two in my arsenal that I want to get through. One is this one by David Bach, and it's called The Latte Factor. And um, it's the number one New York Times bestseller. And this is what it looks like. So this is one of the books that I definitely want to get through. It's not as thick, so I should be able to easily um, get done with this book this month. And I also want to read, if I have time, also Steal Like an Artist. 10 Things Nobody Told You About Being Creative. This is by Austin Kleon. And I showed you guys because I read his other book, Show Your Work. Love that book. And I have all three of these little mini books that he has. This is another pretty easy read here. You can get through it pretty quickly. And it's such a good book. So I definitely want to um, see if I can sneak this book in as well once I finished The Latte Factor. Last but not least is my to-do list for the month. And I only have two things on my to-do list. One of them is to... Uh... I only have two things on my to-do list. One of them is to cancel Dropbox. For some reason, I have a monthly subscription to Dropbox. I do not use Dropbox. I have no idea why I have a monthly subscription, but I'm paying $13 a month for it. So I need to go in and cancel that. And actually, I'm lying. Remember when we were on that reality show in 2020 when my family was on the reality show? Well, um, there is an episode of the show our episode is on that Dropbox and I just need to transfer the episode from Dropbox to my hard drive and then I'm going to go ahead and cancel Dropbox. That's the only reason I've really been keeping it. So I need to go ahead and cancel that. And then I also need to reset up the office in the front of the house. So since I'm fully remote and working from home, I bought a bunch of new accessories for the office, like monitor arms and all this type of stuff. And the company sent me some things. So I really just want to set it up and make it, you know, the most comfortable 
most comfortable setup that I possibly can have. And not only do I work up there, but I also do YouTube editing and things from that desk. So I just like it to be super comfortable. And when I wanna switch from work to personal, just make it super easy and all of that. So that's something that I'm working on, trying to figure out really how I wanna arrange my space. I feel like that was so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful, motivational, inspirational, or just maybe plain old entertaining for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for your love and support. I love you guys so, so much. Make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know one goal that you have for April. What's one thing that you vow to get done for April? And we're gonna work towards our goals together. Love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Warriors are for a letter word.